Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you a little bit more on lights, because lights really do add to uh, the, the visual qualities of your, of your object. This isn't really mechanical engineering at all, it's more art than anything else, but if you do create something uh, to really want to show off to somebody, uh, creating images and videos of things is really, really, really handy. So the reason why we're going to go through the effort of here, here and uh, learn a little bit about PhotoView 360. So in regard to PhotoView 360, lights do have an important impact, and uh, every scene does come with its standard lights. And as you saw in the previous video, we made some modifications to those, to those lights, changed the intensity, the brightness, and uh, some of the other uh, settings, including uh, the colors of those lights, in order to enhance our design. And we can also add lights, too. So let me show you how to do that. If you right-click on the lights uh, folder over here in regard to our display manager, <coughs> pardon me, uh, we could add a light. There's three different kinds of lights we can add. We could add a directional light, uh, which is uh, a light that we, the, the two lights are embedded in this uh, in this um, scene that we had. We could add a spotlight, and we could add a point light. Now, a point light is kind of like a lamp. It's like a, a light that uh, just radiates from a point source, kind of like a, a floor lamp. And uh, what I'd like to add here is a spotlight. You're welcome to play around with some of these lights and play around with some of the settings. I can't, uh, there's not enough time to show you everything, but let me show you about the spotlight. So if we add a spotlight, what it does is just kind of throws it on the screen. What I'd like to do with that light is move it on the other side of the object and uh, kind of go through the other process that we did before. So I'm going to start with the top scene, or top view. I'm going to take my light and move it over here. Go over here to my right view. And what I'd like to do is maybe from the lower right be able to kind of look up at my logo perhaps. So in the front I'm going to make that adjustment and move that over here to the right. I'm going to take that red dot and put it right in the middle of my logo. And you take this circle and reduce that down so all it does is it shines right on that. Which I think might be kind of cool. Kind of a show off here. And then uh, top view, just make sure all the views look uh, right. And uh, that looks pretty good. So let's see that in regard to the, all the other lights. If you right click on any of the light buttons over here, you can... Um, well, if you click on any of the lights over here, you can tell it to show the lights. We can show all the lights. Now we can see what the, where the lights are and uh, reference everything else. And we can edit all the lights too. Edit all the lights and it'll show us uh, all the manipulation uh, objects embedded with that object over here. All the manipulation tools that we can use to move those lights around as we've done before. So green check mark. Something else that needs to be mentioned here. What you see here is not necessarily what you're going to get when you finally do your final rendering. You notice that uh, there's a couple different icons here. And this is new because uh, PhotoView 360 is now embedded in SolidWorks. You can what you see in SolidWorks might be a little bit different than what you see in uh, PhotoView. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, in regard to these settings that uh, if you want your light to show in show in SolidWorks, you want to make sure that it's on in SolidWorks. But you also want to make sure that it's on in PhotoView. So right now both of them are off. However, right click in directional light number seven. I can make it on in SolidWorks, and I want to make sure it's on in PhotoView. Initially, it may not necessarily be on in PhotoView, and you're wondering, yeah, I put in all these lights, and they're not showing. That could be a reason why. Same thing with directional light. Now, we just put in the spotlight over here, and I don't believe that's on in PhotoView. So we're going to go ahead and click on in PhotoView. So now when we go ahead and do a rendering of this, it will show. It should show all those lights. The ambient light. Uh, that's how they're going to be on or off in SOLIDWORKS, and we can turn that off uh, and reduce its impact if you like. So I'm going to go to Edit Light, and I'm going to reduce that down just a little bit more, but not down to zero. And then uh, scoot in a little bit. And now let's do PhotoView 360 and see what that looks like. So before, when I was rendering this uh, in the previous video, I did not have the lights on necessarily in uh, PhotoView 360. But I do have them on now, now that I've made those changes, and uh, it should uh, reflect here and show what it looks like. So when you um, have those lights in your uh, display manager, you want to make sure you manage the lights not only in PhotoView 360, or in uh, SOLIDWORKS, but you want to make sure you manage those lights in PhotoView 360. So it's a little bit washed out here. Maybe uh, some of my lights are a little bit too bright, so I'm going to go ahead and bail out of that and make uh, the appropriate changes. But let me show you how to make some additional adjustments to these lights. See, I'm going to take my directional light number 7, and uh, let's go ahead and edit that light. We're going to edit directional light. There's a button up here for basic light. That means what, how it appears in SOLIDWORKS, but there's also a button over here for photo view and how it's going to appear over here. So now we have a brightness of... Uh, 
5.7 watts per uh, meter squared it looks like and you have re reduced that down and see if we can um, make that uh, look a little bit less intense than it does edit this light, edit that directional light go to photo view and that's, that's uh, pretty much where we want it to be and my spotlight, I want to make sure that that's uh, um, we're going to edit that spotlight. I want to make sure that that's bright enough in photo view too. So brightness, I'm going to make that actually really bright here, or brighter, I should say. And adjust the soft edge. I'm going to do that later. Let's see how it looks like right now when I go to photo view. So as you can see, this is a bit of an iterative process, back and forth, back and forth, until you finally get an image that you think you like. Okay, so that's kind of a preview of what we're going to be seeing. You can see it in the preview uh, screen for photo view 360 kind of highly pixelated now but that soft edge that we're talking about we go to the spotlight it looks like a really really hard edge it doesn't really look realistic I'm gonna go ahead and bail out of this and go ahead and make that final adjustment to my spotlight and um, see if we can adjust that edge a little bit so again go to the photo view tab you have to make sure you do that I'm gonna increase the soft edge to uh, and you could always type in a value in here too let's say six degrees so I believe that means that there's going to be a 60 degree angle off of this, you know, three degrees near the side of that, and uh, it's going to be a transition between no edge or no light and fully on with the light. Uh, shadows, if you want to increase the shadows on that, what that does is it increases uh, what looks like a sphere around the light. And you make that bigger or smaller, that increases uh, the shadowing that may come out of that. So green check mark. Photo view 360, let's go back to the final render and see what that might look like. Yeah, it does kind of show um, a little bit of softness in regard to uh, the spotlight. I might reduce that down a little bit. And uh, that's all part of the other process here too. And I do believe the background lighting is still a little bit bright. So I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment to that. In fact, you can barely see the spotlight here. So there's still some adjustments that are going to be made. You're going to make adjustments on yours. So between the video videos, I'm going to go ahead and make my adjustments. And we're going to get on with the camera next. And then go to the Photo View 360 settings right after that.